I'm completely passionate about Indigenous people and our need to close the socioeconomic gap between our community and the rest of society and to restore our language, our culture and our societies. It hasn't been easy being uh, Indigenous in this country. I'm living a life that I didn't even know existed when I was a child. I'm a residential school survivor. I was a 17-year-old mother and now I'm a doctor. It's about um, reminding and supporting our communities that we've been healing ourselves for since time immemorial for thousands of years. We've had a really incredible opportunity in our communities to work with local women, local First Nations, and I'm so proud that as an Indigenous person, you know, I can help to bring a, a lens of deeper understanding. It's really powerful to know how much power um, woman has, especially Indigenous women. Any um, movements or, or, or activism around water, probably 99% of those were launched by Indigenous women. Mentorship is important for a number of reasons. You know, really challenge someone to be the best they can be. Community-based programming, I think, is really important. All of the information that we need as Indigenous people to heal and be resilient and live our full potential is within us already. And so it's a really about uncovering that. They can often see those leadership qualities in you years before you can see them in yourself and come to embrace them. One of my biggest mentors in my life is my grandmother. Being recognized to have that kind of potential and to be given the support to make it happen was quite the experience. We advocate for women in leadership roles and we try to mentor um, you know, the younger women to you know, bring their voices out. The youth have their voice, the youth have strength within them, they're all leaders and I think it's important to let them know that they have a voice and um, provide opportunities where they see themselves as leaders. I'm encouraging young women now not to wait as long as I did to find your voice or to pick up those sacred tools like the drum, the pipe, the rattle, the ceremony. I want Indigenous youth voice to be heard and for them not to feel scared or ashamed to share their voice because what they have to say is just as important as what anyone else has to say. I wish for more people to recognize their potential and have hope. Regardless of where you come from, your past doesn't have to define you. There is hope in everyone and everywhere, and it's so hard to find that hope sometimes. Don't give up. We have a way to go, I think, but I think uh, we're moving in the right direction.